Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of the risk and the future market. Uh, what we do here, we, we share uh, our signals and uh, welcome everyone to, to copy those signals as long as at your own risk. Okay, uh, for the ones uh, first time they've been here, uh, what we are doing, we're sharing our automated trade. Uh, we're not collecting any names, money, uh, emails. We're just trying to help the traders. And uh, as long as long you follow us, uh, we at your own risk. Uh, we're not responsible for your trade. You're very welcome, and we will try to help you as much as we can. Uh, for the ones who have been here first time, uh, what we have here is the uh, the market analyzer. The market analyzer uh, print out a signal for you, the direction of that signal, and then entry price, target, and then how much money or how many ticks you get out of that trade. As an example, right now we are in a trade on the NASDAQ. The market analyzer is every day the same time frame is one minute, one lock. So as an example, the NASDAQ here, the signal is 741525 as an entry. And the system gives you the target is 43376. We already crossed the target and uh, we are just now, whatever we get above the target, we are getting out of that target. So from the last signal entry, uh, we have nailed 116 ticks uh, on that trade. And then on the pullback re-entry, this is called a safe uh, re-entry point, is 741100. So you can always uh, try to, uh, 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 on the pullback re-entry, if you wanna take those trades back, you can take it. However, um, this one here, the chart is the same principle as uh, the market analyzer. But uh, the, the chart is a given constant up update and, uh, and uh, it gives you a new targets. It gives you, a new, it gives you new, uh, new pullback and uh, The system comes with a. The system comes with the three different. I'm pulling back my uh, training stop a little bit because I don't want to exit on those. Uh, the system comes with the three different automated trade, uh, ATM, ATM strategy, and full automated. I personally do not like full automated. I like uh, ATM because I can control my trade. If you are on a full automated trade, you would have exit on the target where it says target. As an example, if you are using a full automated trade, your target was uh, 442 and then you will exit on 442. The advantage of it when you are using an ATM, and as you see right now, uh, the, the market is really spending to, to, uh, with this, uh, then it will be a very good, uh, brilliant idea to uh, extend your target, and, uh, and then you will have uh, the pullback re-entry. This one here is synchronizing tick by tick as well. The market analyzer is in, and out the direct and uh, the uh, the the chart also you can connect it to the auto trade but also you can manage those trades and 
now you can see there is also an arrow. It's telling you there is a much more momentum. And we can see on the chart, there is a lot of buyers coming. So I'm gonna eject this uh, target a little bit more to see where we are going with this one. And I'm gonna pull this one a little bit back to see if we are able to get anything more out of it. Uh, the system has uh, these two yellow lines. And once you get those two yellow lines, uh, now we are entering into this uh, critical area where no more long trade. And now we have to be careful. Uh, this is uh, the entry. You should not be taking long trade anymore if you are uh, if you are a Nasdaq trader or an ES trader. Once we now there is a resistance here. Uh, once we are done with this, we'll cover the ES as well. I'm just trying to keep my eye on this one here. The ES just had a, an entry target. And I'm sure the, the auto trade has nailed that trade. I just wanted this NASDAQ to come down a little bit so we can pull uh, those. This is a very early start. That's mean it's gonna, once this trend is over, it's gonna be hell trading the NASDAQ anymore today. A lot of buyers coming in. Okay. I apologize. I'll try to cover the rest of the the screen once we have a break. Uh, this is your ES. Let me put the ES here. Keep our eye on the ES. Uh, the ES. Uh, 2880 is uh, is a very reasonable target on the ES. It's not gonna go above the, let me pull those back a little bit. Uh, the ES uh, target uh, 2880, uh, it is a very reasonable uh, exit time on, on this one here. However, if we look at the NASDAQ right now, uh, based on two contracts, uh, the, what it costs you to take two contracts on the NASDAQ by a broker, $500, $600. So actually you nailed over 100% on your investment. Uh, one of the things here, once we get to the, the yellow lines here, um, I extended the target, but now we have a reversal, double reversal. Uh, the, those reversal do not repaint. So for those guys, had a bad experience with the reversal uh, um, system. Uh, those they do not repaint, and um, and um, go back to this one. And now we are in uh, this. Uh, bit. I apologize, guys, just a second. Uh, the ES, uh, for the ES traders, we have a, a resistance. Those are your $35 zone. Uh, we have a resistance at this line here, uh, 877. And I think, I believe, it's going to be crossing that line immediately. And uh, once we break that line, uh, there is uh, the next stop on your ES is... Um, uh, it's uh, 80. Now, because this market, uh, the NASDAQ, you can see there is a R4 and R7. That's mean we are about, and we are in this yellow line. 
this is an indication the party is over on the NASDAQ straight out 2400 done for today you just leave you know you do not stay trading because once this market spike for today there is not much to do anymore the rest of the day most of the time so uh, as you see right now the NASDAQ we had the signal on the reversal and we are what we are trying to teach you here is how to maximize, even if you are auto trade, how to maximize your, your profit. And there is a good potential every single day if, uh, on every instrument from 200 to $500. If you just take the time and, and, and uh, look at the chart, uh, see if there is a potential uh, to uh, generate more profit uh, on that. It's not going to be every day, honey, and uh, you know. But uh, when when the market is trending, this is where we need to take advantage of it and take big bite out of that trend for another bad day. So uh, right now, I, I I believe in in to leave room for. Uh, for the market to go back and forth as long as you know what you're doing. And at the moment, the system here has, we came in into this critical area where it's this yellow two lines. Everything you see on the chart is already updates itself. You do not have to do anything, you know. So if we are looking at this NASDAQ right now, uh, we know where we can maximize the most out of that trade, uh, 23, 2400, call it off for today and get it over with. Uh, and this is what you uh, really need to uh, uh, make sure that, you know, um, not to just let uh, the system run by itself it doesn't matter which auto trade because those lines are very 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 um accurate and that can give you uh, enough information if you decide that you want to take over from the auto trade and uh, take those trades so right now things start coming down and um uh, the ES, uh, we have a resistance at 7726, pulling back to the support area at 7475. That is making the NASDAQ to slow down a bit. So now we are our eye on the ES to see if this ES is going to go back and retest the 7725. Very important right now. If you are not in that trade on the, in the ES, you should not be taking a trade at the moment. The reason is we don't know if this line going to hold or we're going to have a new breakout. So this area here right now, the ES got stuck between a support and a resistance. We just need to keep our eye on it and nobody knows where this ES is going to take us. There is it's going to change the whole momentum in the market and it's going to have direct impact on your NASDAQ trade. So in order for us sometimes to see what's going on uh, on the, on the, uh, in the market, we need to keep uh, our eye on the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ it is the most is the best indicator in the house to identify and uh, uh, what's going on, uh, nevertheless, is the 500 company, whether we like it or not. By this ES trying to stay on those level and now is going back to retest the 7725, that is going to make a decision for you on the NASDAQ if this market fixing to ignite one more time and, and uh, maybe there is a potential for much higher profit than what you are already has accomplished for now. So now our eye is on the ES uh, trying to see 
now is climbing back to the 7725 and it's gonna retest that number. So it is very important number to see the 7725 is gonna be broken by the ES. That is gonna make the NASDAQ fly. And this is, is going to be different on that trade on the NASDAQ where there could be another potential $500 or $200 on that trade. When the market is going to your direction, look where is this NASDAQ, uh, the ES, is a flirting with the 7725. This is now the critical area uh, at the moment to see if that ES is going to break. So when I said about those zones, the $35 zones, it pays off. It's not about commercial. It's not... A, and it's not even worth to talk about $35, it's nothing. But this is uh, really key uh, that uh, there is, I, I cannot see anyone, I will not even trade this market without them. I don't know how anybody can just, and, and actually we, 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 we have those uh, for, um, uh, you know, it's not, we're not even making money out of those. We're just uh, promotions. We, we are use, uh, using them. And um, and actually what you're paying is uh, all the fees we are paying on the server and all that. But um, you see right now is the ES, our eye is on the ES. This right now, if this ES gonna break it, this is gonna make the NASDAQ fly. Absolutely, it's going to make your NASDAQ fly. So this is a very important key. As you see right front of you, we are flirting with the 7725 and there is a good potential right now. We are about to break it and we are about to have a new number. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack up my profit because he already break that barrier. And now look at this. Now it's gonna ignite the NASDAQ and that it is a good potential from 2,600 to 3,000 on that trade. This is a very, um, for the guy, it just refusing to look at the chart. Uh, you would have got into this market as what it says on the market analyzer, 41525, exit 465, done and it's over. For the guy is using the ATM, let the auto trade take those trades. Uh, so emotionally, we're not getting involved with the entry, managing uh, two, three different type of a chart. Everybody can manage. Just you need to do, keep your eye on the level and keep your eye on those FIPS. They are extremely accurate. Uh, the FIPS are... 20% uh, of the equation, the trading equation. Then you have another structure uh, for trading, the momentum, the pressure in the market. Uh, you need to look after, and then you need to look after the, the FIBS. Uh, during those years, a lot of people argue every time you draw the FIB on the chart. So those are already planted for you on, the, on your chart, on your instruments. Uh, you can use uh, Renko bar, you can use minutes. Uh, it is adaptable to any chart you use. So right now we are uh, just uh, keeping our eye on those uh, trades. I, I'm sorry I couldn't cover the rest of the puzzle today. Uh, the same story on the, uh, the, the we have uh, the, the future market, uh, the same story we have on the Forex. Also, the Forex is based on one minute. You can auto trade it, ATM, whatever you want to do with it. And then it gives you the new signal and the direction of that trade. And we are using the $10,000 account. We're not using a full contract. We are using a mini account. And uh, right now in pips, we have 100 pips based on your basic uh, uh, instruments. So now we are around 100 pips base on one minute chart, which most of the Forex traders, uh, they use 240 minutes, they use 30 minutes, they have all kind of stuff and it's a big messy. So this one here also can be used on the stocks and you can feed your auto trade 100 stock 
for each market. And but I mean, we only have one screen, so um, uh, I cannot uh, load everything in here. But also the same principle you can use on the stocks, and I will try to turn on uh, the market analyzer on the stock uh, maybe next week. Then uh, we have uh, the scalper. Uh, on the scalper here, what you see on the blue market analyzer, we are using 150 minutes, uh, 150 ticks. I apologize, and uh, one minute. Uh, those are the only two time frame we are using and um, uh, aggressive or conservative. Also the scalper, uh, the price action, and the swing trade, trade in here. This is a swing trade in what you see from the Ninja Trader controller. All of them does not require any more optimization. Back testing, forward testing, all this is, is uh, no need for, to do this on your package excuse me on your package there is a lot of auto trades there is around 13 auto trades uh, mo most of them they need uh, to be optimized those they do not need there is a new signal on the 6e you can see it tells you there is a new signal on the 6e it tells you the entry is uh, 5930 and then the target is 69 so uh, the system comes with the sound, but I personally hate sounds and uh, I don't want to get involved with the sounds. So this is, but you can turn on the sounds if you want to. Um, at the moment, uh, based on the last entry signal, we are on 378 ticks. A total profit based on one contract, 2400. For the guys have a smaller amount of money, you don't need to cover every single instrument in here. But it is a very good if you start with one ES, one NASDAQ, one Dow Jones, and then you can hash the future based on one contract. In case like today, the YM is not moving or it's going to go south, it's going to get in red in every single market. Uh, you have a good days and a bad days. It's not going to be uh, that system or any other system. It just uh, uh, keep winning and uh, not having a bad day. We've had a bad days. Uh, we've had a good days. We have extremely good days and we have some disaster days. And uh, we don't hide anything. We show you everything, guys. Uh, and we show you the good trades and the bad trades. So right now the ES has broke that barrier and now we are uh, on the ES as exactly where we uh, expected. Uh, now we have a, a bumper here at 28.8050 uh, and that is very crucial to see if this ES able to break those area here. On your fully automated to trade now, uh, you have a new target is 8125. But uh, we are hoping that today is a Friday, we can penetrate those lines. And by watching this ES right now, this is, is gonna ignite another uh, levels on the ES. Right now, uh, on the, there we go, there is a buyers when you see, when you see this blinking on the chart, I don't want to sit down and waste time on, on numbers, to read numbers. So by blinking from my corner of my eye, I know now there is some buyers and a heavy buyers on the ES trying to break those level here. I don't know if there is enough buyers to, to penetrate this area. And uh, you cannot, and you will never know when somebody put in a fake order uh, in the market and then pull out that order millisecond before he gets filled. So for those guys, they are trying to measure the buyers and the sellers. Uh, those guys, when they are put in a large order and they dismiss this order milliseconds before the, they get filled, uh, they are uh, they get you lost and for the ones are relying on that uh, principle think again you know you're not uh, 
you're not helping. Uh, you are. Um, uh, what they do, they they buy time when they are put in a hundred contract ES, and um, and then when they try to get filled, they, or if they are two ticks below, three ticks below, they they do that. They put one hundred contract. The algorithm try to go down and get them filled, and then they snap it. So you cannot actually rely on the numbers all the time because they pull it milliseconds before. That's what they do, especially on a large order. So we we know there is a buyer. We don't know how big those buyers. We don't know how many of them got filled. So when we saw that shot is a blinking, that's mean there is an orders coming in. There is a buyers coming in, but there were fake buyers because if they were strong enough, we would have been able to penetrate that line. So now if we look at this ES, it came in exactly as expected. And now we will see if it is able to break that area. If this area is a, is a very hard area to break. The reason is, uh, I don't like to put too many numbers on the right margin here, but uh, we have a huge resistance line at 80.75, followed by that line 81.50, followed by this line 82.75. This is a required big potential buyers and, and to move and break those areas. It's not easy area to be to to break. This is look, um, even if the NASDAQ is not a hundred percent. Uh, going with the ES in the old days, it used to be a much more follower, but now the NASDAQ has become um, independent. If we look at this NASDAQ, we are hitting the high, high on the NASDAQ with this line here. The resistance line is 82.75. You see? So when you are in a trade, when you are in a trade, or you are using a fully automated or ATM strategy, the market is speaking to you, telling you, I tried one time, two times, three times, four times, six times. I'm having a hard time getting out of the 82.25. So there is a big difference if you decided to cash in on 23.2400 the market is coming back right here if is any pullback and if anybody is out of the trade you're very welcome to follow us on that trade it's gonna be somewhere around uh, 460 25 as an entry point again okay as a pullback re-entry this is from my side but uh, the system probably have it different have it at 44 25 44 25 Also, it is a very, yeah, from the re entry point. This is the yellow one, the re entry. But watch this market right now, it's pulling back. If you want to follow me on that trade, you can put a limited order on a sim. If you want to follow me on a sim, you can put it around 58 or 57.75. Just a just a second, guys. I keep forgetting to if I don't uh, disable the 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 Skype, I'm gonna be hammered with messages. So um, so let's see how it's going to play on on that trade and uh, and i will be um the es on the scalper is long and on the nasdaq is long on the scalper this means there is a good potential for that trade to the es probably is going to retest the 8050. We will see what will happen uh, on that trade. 
uh, if you are curious as for our traders, sometimes you see those numbers right there here on your chart. Those are not the normal true average price. Those are really something else. Nobody has them. And you have the true average price. Nine out of 10 when the market pulled back to the true average price look and is followed by double support is always here a re-entry point right there. It's always re-entry point. This is a re-entry point and this is a re-entry point. And if this market go back a little bit, I'm going to show you the re-entry. This is here. The true average is 65.75 and followed by double support line. If this uh, bar uh, go down a little bit, I will show you it's going to have a problem breaking this number. So we will try uh, to The ES is trying to uh, climb again. Uh, let's see what else we have. We're just waiting on the ES to see what will happen. This is very good. Uh, the the Nasdaq. Now we have this confirmed. This is a very strong hold on the sixty eight twenty five. So we'll wait and see what will happen. And we need to keep our eye on the ES to see. This is a very good news. Uh, the, the true average of price right now uh, hit the support line. This is a double confirmed look. So this is a very strong hold on the NASDAQ. So there is no use to close position at the moment. And I will keep our eye. I mean, we're trying to extend it much more than this level here, the resistance where the NASDAQ ran out of steam at the 83 level. But we are trying to keep our eye on the ES to see if that ES able to break this area here because this is going to be a lot of potential if the ES able to break that. If it's not, uh, and this uh, today is a Friday, and if this ES is going to start uh, losing up momentum, that's mean we are in a very long hole today. That is going to be disaster. That is going to be chop, and that is going to be uh, the market today is a Friday. This is not good for Friday for this market sinking like this. So uh and right now we are right in between and let's see what will happen on the did the scalper did it well the the scalpers the es ym nasdaq all of them took a long trade I like to see that, and um, 
Nasdaq is still long on the swing trading. ES is still long. So it's, it's very good to, to get also information how the other auto trades are doing. Look how this ES, it is very important this ES to break those level. Okay, there is a, some kind of buyers coming in. Let's see, watch. Let's see if this time are able. Can you see it's trying to blink? So let's see if they are able to break those area here. You see? Now they're trying one more time. Let's see if we are able to break that area here. Come on. Also keep your eye on the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ resistance line has not been able to break it is the 83. Uh, 8350 level you see they, they're having a problem on that on that line you see on the ES so I just don't want this market to sink if this market is going to sink it's gonna be a very long day today and then there is nothing you can do because it's a Friday, then uh, the only thing is normally on a Friday. Uh, around 1.30 afternoon, usually on a Friday, the market goes one direction, either up or down. Then it is tradable uh, around 1.30 when a all those noises go home and they're done the trading on a Friday. So this is really um, where you, you have the second round on a Friday to uh, to take a trade so this is a very very uh, critical area I hope okay there we go there we go okay the Nasdaq decided to take off let's mean we have a takeoff on the uh, on the ES we broke the first barrier we still have the second one 8150. okay we closed one. And we're gonna leave one. We're gonna leave one trade. We close one trade and leave one trade. Right now, the NASDAQ is not going to respond with the ES. We have a major support area on the on the NASDAQ here at uh, what is the true average price, 69.75. It's not going to break it at the moment. And uh, that is going to probably, this is really cat and mouth play right there. We'll see. Sometimes it is, once you know what's going on in the market, it is really interesting to see what will happen. That's it. Uh, even if you are auto trading and you know what's going on in the market and the market is fighting, uh, it is, uh, I don't know, it's like you're, you're watching an excitement movie or something, you know, an action movie or something. It is really, it, it gets into my blood. I don't know about the others, but it gets, you know, curious. How, how it's going to be. And now this one here got my curiosity. If this ES is going to able to break this area or is going to go ahead and start sinking in, that is not a good news for trading right now, whether you are auto trading or manual trading. That's not a good news. That's mean there is nothing that's going to happen and it's going to cause a lot of sideways in the market. That's not good. So keep your eye on the NASDAQ. This is a very strong hold. I doubt it. Look, you see? It's going to take a lot for this NASDAQ to lose momentum right now. This is the, the key on the NASDAQ. It's the 69.50. You see? It's right to the wick. You see what is this wick come in? And this is the true average price followed, confirmed by the support. 
this is a very strong area right there. This one is not going to die easy on me, the NASDAQ. I'm worried about this um, ES. There is nothing holding the ES. And uh, until the 75, 75, there is nothing holding that ES. And that it makes me nervous a bit on this trade. Okay. Let's see. This is very, very serious. You see how the NASDAQ is holding? The NASDAQ is holding this area with no problem. Now we are worried about the ES. Let's see what the scalper is doing. Okay. Uh, Oh boy. The ES is going down. Let's see. Can you see what is this NASDAQ is holding? Right at your true average price and support. You see? It's refusing to sink. With the ES, look. Right on the line. One of them has to give up to the other. Let's see what will happen. There we go. So in a way, this one here now is it is at a very critical area you cannot take that trade on the mm -hmm. nasdaq from here but when you see to our members when you see this somewhere down the road here somewhere this is a re-entry point is always a re-entry point you should not let it uh slip away from you so seems like the es is going to go back and retest this number the 8150 that's very good this mean we're going to have a nice ride all the way to 12 o'clock. Okay, we are 344 into a tick space on the less signal. Uh, the only market we are having a problem with is the CL at the moment. On the swing trading, uh, the CL uh, finished. But boy, that uh, auto trade has struggled today to close the CL trade. It was a lot of a small trade. A lot of a small trade and uh, struggled actually to close for today but on the price action the cl is struggling and then uh, we have uh, the gold is struggling today the 6e did go south and the silver is also south and um The scalpers are still going in the same circle uh, based on one minute. The scalpers, 
actually, if we look at the scalper, the ES uh, did very well, 1600. Uh, the YM didn't do good, flat down uh, 260. The NASDAQ was hammered on the scalper and a 30 year treasury bond 1000 and the CL is uh, uh, 780. Actually, we had a nice run earlier on the CL. Uh, but uh, right now, that signal on the CL, it seems like it didn't do it. We'll see. Let me look at the CL while we are waiting. Okay, this is the CL. Um, uh, the auto trade took it at the entry. Okay, I don't know. No matter what you do with the CL, you have a problem at 67.53. Uh, this is where you threw average price, double resistance. That is a problem. And look what, what is in the CL. It's chop and got caught between those two, uh, three, four, five lines, you see? This is a problem. It's not a tradable, folks. The CL is not tradable. At the moment, it's not. If anybody is a trader on the CL, you need to put a buy limited order at uh, 67.30. Anything below those numbers, you're looking for trouble. It's not tradable. So let's see if uh, this ES uh, gonna give us uh, some break. It's uh, gonna try to climb to those numbers one more time. Okay, you can see every time the, when the ES come into major uh, fib line, if you noticed, especially our trader, look at your chart. When there is a major area on your fibs, this is where you start seeing the chart blanking. This is where you see there is somebody trying to push that market up. Could be fake or could be real uh, entry order. We don't know, you don't know, because it's milliseconds that can dismiss it. So uh, knowing the true, you can see it immediately if this, um, buyers able to break those lines or they fell to to break those lines and uh, right now it is it seems like uh, that es is really struggling on this area we have mentioned and uh, if we examine the es it is on the same Three times the ES came up to the same line. Three times the ES tried to break those lines and fell. Uh, for the ones has not taken the ES trade yet, uh, I will, um, uh, if you want to follow on the sim, I will try to find you an entry on the uh, ES. Let me take this one down. So we can have a clean picture. Let me get a clean picture on the ES. The 76th level. Actually, there is two entries on this one here. The first entry you can enter, or if you can afford on a sim, two trades, just a second. There is an entry right now at 76.75, and there is a conservative entry at 75.75. Uh, so there is actually two of them, one here, and one there. 
you know, that's your uh, ball game. Uh, try to, if you want to follow on a sim, try to take one here at 76, 75. And the second one, if you want to, 75, 75, if you want to. Uh, the target on that is not much, guys. Is uh, eighty fifty. It's not much. Eighty fifty. So how many takes? That will give you around one hundred fifty dollars in that trade. Eighty fifty. There is not much to. There is nothing to grab out of that one. You know, look at this um, ES one minute and a clean picture. Look how accurate it is. Here's your projection. Look where is the support line on this ES. And then pull back re entry, pull back re entry, pull back re entry, pull back re entry. And um, it cannot get better than that. It cannot. And look at this resistance. Such a good. Every time, try to look at the clear picture without indicator, without colors on the bar. Don't. So we can see uh, where is this market and how this market is uh, today. And it is a very clean picture telling me where is the borders on that ES and where what we are facing on that ES. This is really amazing. Um, I love a clean chart and try not to color the bars because that is going to confuse you. Do not uh, color the bars. Keep it clean and concentrate on the bars movement, not the bar trend with the bar colors. Those are uh, going to mislead you in a way which we have a very nice bar colors. Uh, those bar colors is uh, based on a price line. They're not uh, based on an ATR, but uh, still I prefer if I want to look at uh, any kind of instruments, I prefer to look at the clean chart. We have a new signal on the silver. I don't trade the silver. Somebody has requested the silver. Um, uh, there is a new uh, signal on the silver. It says buy, uh, entry price 150, and then target is uh, 14 to 40. I don't know. I never traded silver on uh, Ninja Trader, uh, so I cannot um, comment on that. It was a, re a request by somebody following us on the um, on the YouTube. So. The market died on us. There is not much going on. Let me see. Actually, the only two trades we have at the moment is uh, the ES and the NASDAQ. And um, If you notice uh, folks like uh, the ones, uh, especially our traders, if there's anybody out there from our traders, uh, if you know, I covered this, uh, the true average price. I told you this is a very strong hold. And this, you're gonna find it on every instrument. And it takes a lot to break those area on the true average price. It takes a lot. So this is, a, you need to keep your eye on it. I mean, it really takes a lot to break those level, you know. And if we notice that the NASDAQ has been on this true average price from 1023, right now is um, uh, 11, uh, 1045. So it hold for, for almost 15 minutes, this number. But it seems like now the market is sinking in. So let's see, we are keeping our eye on the ES to see uh, what the ES is going to do. 
very critical area on the ES. The problem, uh, uh, I said, we don't need this uh, ES to start sinking because now if we are going to this mess hole here, it's going to be a headache to trade the ES. And I'm hoping to stay on that level and go back and retest and maybe we'll have a new breakout. Uh, the market from uh, the, uh, the left upper here, you can see the momentum, the pressure in the market, and it's very mixed pressure. This one here is measuring the buyers and the sellers in conjunction with the six different time frame, high time frame. And now the odds are are really mixed. So we'll see uh, what uh, the ES is going to do. Uh, for the ones they followed me on that uh, trade, uh, because I'm trying to find some uh, small trade for the guys who just came in, or maybe they are late. If you are on that trade, do not uh, try your luck. Uh, get out at 88.50. That will give you maybe a couple hundred dollars on that trade, and it's finished. Uh, I wish I can find you something to break. I mean, a major breakout, but right now I have nothing. I'm trying so hard to find an entry uh, for the guys, uh, you know, the ones that, if you like to follow us on the sim, but honestly, I cannot find anything at the moment. The market is just uh, sitting and doing nothing. And um, so we're gonna, we just waiting. Let's look at the reversal. Maybe we can find anything on the reversal. Actually, we had an entry on the reversal, but I'm not sure it's too late for that. And uh, this is a lot of problems on the reversal because the market, um, we covered the reversal we teach the traders a few weeks ago on, uh, this is out of the band sell order, but there is a lot of support area at 75.50 and a lot of, I mean, it's a Friday, it's always uh, hard on Friday to, uh, to nail everything. So let's see, now there is a new buyers coming in. Let's see if we, uh, we are able to break those area. Let's look at the NASDAQ where we are. We are on one contract on the NASDAQ. Let's see if we're going to able to break this um, area. There we go. For the ones I called the trade for you guys, this is your exit. Uh, exactly where we told you to exit uh it's right there that will give you enough from that area here 76 to 80 50 you do the calculation this is uh when we are trying to teach also if i see something i tell you um and um but, um, um, you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, we have by now for those uh, guys, we called the trade, you should be out and you should be around a hundred, um, $200 on that trade. And, um, I hope if you follow us, you follow us on a sim. We're not responsible for your trade. So you close that trade to the max at 8050. This is what we call to close the trade at 8050. And I hope you close the trade at 8050. For the ones who are using that system, hang on. Uh, if you are in that trade, let's see if this is able to, finally to break that area or not. This is 
the EAS now has been struggling for over half an hour to break this area. If this EAS break in that area, it's going to have a very good potential uh, on the NASDAQ, and God knows where it's taking us, the NASDAQ. So this is, I'm getting ready for the NASDAQ to fly. You see what is this number? Uh, you see how the the bar, the chart, there is a blinking in it, trying the buyers to break this area and have a move. There we go. There we go. It's finished. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Come to daddy. Yes. We are out of the wood with the, I'm going to, when you, what you can do, you, you can take it down or you can dismiss it when you are using the auto trade and try to put a manual uh, one uh, and, you know, so this is a beautiful, beautiful trade. And um, I don't know where it's taking us anymore, but we're not going to complain. Uh, the system is hidden on the target 2885 on the ES. So this is really nice. And I'm so glad whoever followed me on that called uh, the ES. Uh, I hope uh, you exited where I told you to exit. That will not leave you this weekend empty pockets for the ones are non-members. <laughs> right now, um, uh, let's look at the ES. Uh, the resistance is no longer a resistance, has become a support line. And uh, let's see how the, the finally broke that thick wall on the ES, so let's keep our eye on that. Uh, this is not bad. Uh, even if you are on one contract ES and one contract NASDAQ, you have to think about it, how much money you invested with your broker is less than $500. This is your return on a $500 investment. Guys, it's not every day winning trade in the market. It's not every day. It's not. Don't be misguided. You will have a bad days and you will have a good days. You will have a, a days where you're going to be jumping out of your chair from happiness or sadness. Uh, during my career, uh, I was a heavy stock trader on uh, Motorola. I made tons of money on Motorola trading. And uh, I got aggressive. And... Um, uh, to cut the story short, and also I overmerged myself back then on the, the future market. Back then was not even a mini EAS. I went to sleep. My hair was brown. I woke up in the morning. Half my head was white. So don't think uh, anyone is born to be a trader or uh, born to, to have success in this business. Uh, the only time you will have success uh, in this business if you earn it. There is no way shortcut in this business. You gotta face that gorilla. You gotta dance with that gorilla. You're gonna get our butt kicked until we start winning. it. But there is no way. Uh, there is a magical system or auto trade is gonna take you from zero to one hundred overnight. There is nothing. Of course, there is a disaster systems out there, and there is a consistency out there. But there is no magic in the trading. If you don't do your homework, it's not a just ignition, lift off, and now we are in the moon. It never works this way. This is reality. And um, there is something clicking, not those two. I'm taking it a little bit down. At the moment, uh, from uh, the entry signal, not all day, folks, from the entry signal, 
uh, from the less signal we have on the system based on one contract, we have 495 ticks based from the last signal entry. So right now we have uh, 35 ticks from the last signal. This is the look like this one here, new signal. Uh, 285 ticks, 43 ticks, YM, 13 ticks, 30 year treasury bond, South down 10 ticks, Russell 100 tick, uh, gold going South 19 ticks, DAX, that's not much for DAX, 45 ticks, and the 6E is going in a circle and actually the the silver is also in the circle so uh, again to start with whether you have five thousand three thousand or a hundred thousand to start uh trading you should not take no more than one es one nasdaq one thousand until you get to know how to um, manage the trade uh, like what you have seen me, I'm trying to pull down the trailing stop. I'm trying to keep my eye on the ES. I can read the ES. I can read those lines. And then I know this chart on the ES and the NASDAQ, they are working in conjunction with each other. Every time the ES have a major area, the NASDAQ is going to stop. Even if the NASDAQ doesn't follow the ES anymore. And also for those guys, they trade the DAX in the morning. The ES can predict the DAX, even they are two different instruments from two different countries. The ES is the best indicator for your DAX trading. And actually you can predict your DAX trading from your ES especially if you are using one of those, I don't know if I have a trading panel here, especially if you are looking at the trading panel and see the momentum on the trading panel. Now, I don't have one open and I don't feel like I want to open one right now. So, so keeping those two chart and it is very good. Uh, I have seen now a lot of our traders doing this uh, if I'm trading the ES or the NASDAQ, uh, this, your auto trade is taking those trade. Uh, try, I mean, if you're not trading the CL, why bother and open a chart for the CL? Use the space you have and I will maybe put the market analyzer up and then I will take those two together the ES with a clean chart. It is the clean chart is more important than this one here. The clean chart. Why? Because I want to see a clean picture pulling back, resistant, 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 a new breakout. I need to see that. I need to see when I'm in this trade in here. Where is my next turbulence? Where is my next problem? Because on that here, on the 83 level, 83.75, I need to make a decision to cash in or not. I need to make a decision cashing in here or not. We call the trades for our guest here and we told them to exit here. You know? So the market comes in a blocks and we need to know every block what it's doing. So this is to our traders, very important to put, do not color the bars, please. Just put a clean chart to look at the price day after day, because you're not uh, trying, we're not trying to teach you uh, price action. We're not putting you in the room, uh, charging you money and all this. But the day in and the day out, your eyes start get used to and you start developing your own system. And this is the best way is to develop your own system. The day after day, you start seeing that 
even if you are scalping, uh, swing trading, like right now on the, the swing trading, you have one trade, it's a 14.50 on the NASDAQ. I can chase it and see where it is, this chart. But I need to know if I need to close that chart to maximize my profit. For the guys don't want to touch the, the chart, that's your right, you know. But I have been showing you guys a day in and a day out. There is a potential on every trade from 200 to 500 dollars, depends on this market movement. If you just can keep your eye on it, you can maximize your profit. If on every instrument you can extend your profit two hundred dollars, let's say ES and Nasdaq, that's four hundred dollars a day. That's almost a hundred thousand a year. So all those count those small takes profit, extend your profit. And when you see the market is troubled, then stay away from the poker table today and say today is not my game. I'm gonna switch to swim, to 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 sim and I'm going to protect for whatever I have earned this week. Uh, being on this poker table, uh, on the blackjack table, does not mean uh, you're going to be winning. you got to keep protecting yourself, and you have to think that there is somebody out there trying to, uh, for every trade you make money on it, there is somebody else lost money. So there is somebody out there is hungry trying to get some winning trade. So try to be a little bit conservative with your trade. And the most important things, do not go re-enter the market very often. So when we have a trade going to our direction, we need to milk it as much as we can. Because you don't know when the next time you're going to have a door open. You know. You know, just like when you were young and teenager, you know, when you get your hand on a beautiful girl, you better enjoy it because you don't know when the next one is coming like that. So this is where, you know, don't rush with a closing a trade. Do not rush. And the most important to you, do not use a trailing stop, automatic trailing stop. Uh, try to control this automatic trailing stop and try to always hide your trailing stop behind a support, a resistant, or like if I wanted to trail stop this one here manually, always try to trail stop manually. Do not get too close to the market, but also at the same time, we don't want to be too far, but I know there is a projection here and there is a resistance here. So I'm a double protected on my trailing stop. And I mean, if this market is going to break that line and that line, then might as well go ahead and close that trade. So I'm hiding behind two walls on that uh, trailing stop. And then the second one, I probably will hide it right there, right under the first trailing stop if you are using the uh, the fully automated your trailing stop one and trailing stop two they are based on the floor and fibs and you're not gonna be using the trailing stop it will be the floor and fibs so i will hide because those here is calculated for me it's telling me there is a problem for the market when it comes here it's not gonna break those numbers pretty easy but you should never leave a trailing stop out in the open and and protect it you know so this one here i have a double protection and if it's gonna knock me out of one trade, that's very fine. I did my homework. Now watch this market is slipping from that bar to that bar and I'm sitting right there. So let's see if I'm protected or not. Look at this. You see, I'm hiding behind two walls. And if it's gonna knock me out that uh, trade, that's very fine, fair enough, you know? But at least I gave room to this uh, market to go back and forth, you know? So, trading is an art, I love it. If we look at the clear picture uh, on the ES, 
this is a very clean picture. We have a projection on the ES at 79, 75, and the probability is gonna hold. And this is where, look, you see, look, here is my trailing stop right there. And look, you see? So this one here did not knock me out of that trade. You see that? So the art is not just the entry because uh, the entry has been taken care of by your auto trade. It's done. The art is how to stay on that trend if it's going to your favor and not knock, uh, knock yourself out of that trade. Not unless if you are happy with uh, what you're getting and you say, I'm not trading anymore, I'm done for this weekend, then close it, go home. But if you are still, you know, we all sometimes we can get aggressive and you are aggressive. You want to get it up all the way to the 85, 75. Nothing wrong with that. Then you need to play your cards and stay on that trend. And, uh, and this is where uh, the game start in the trading. It's not the entry as much as uh, how you can find your boundaries around the, 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 the market and uh, try to protect yourself uh, and uh, not to be knocked out of that trade. Um, every trader has experienced that uh, right front of his eyes, uh, the market uh, pull back, get you out of that trade and a go hundred tick up in the air and it makes you miss the trade. The reason I pulled it back because there is a mid band. You see what is this mid band? So that's why I pulled it back right below the mid band. That mid band here, uh, I don't want to complicate it, but the mid band is actually, there is a plenty of re-entries on the mid band, but I don't want to complicate the, the, the trades. I want to keep it simple. This is for another day. Maybe we can do that. But I notice there is a mid band here and look now it's trying to short it out. So there is nothing I can fight anymore. I protect myself. If it's gonna knock me out of that trade, it's gonna knock me out of that trade and it's finished. Because what I, what I try to do, I try to hit behind the mid band. Look, look, you see? You see, it's, 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 you, play in, you play in a game, cat and mouth on a take. Look, look, look guys, this is art. This is uh, the game begin in the trading. And this is where the nerve. And when you are experienced enough, you start fighting the market on the tick. And that's exactly what's happening here. I recognize there is a pullback. I pull it right below uh, the, the mid band, uh, trying to save myself that trade. And it did, you know. And it was a matter of ticks, two ticks down that saved my trade look guys on the uh on the nasdaq uh we have talked about uh, the the true average price and if we notice right now uh the true average price is right there 7650 and as you see the true average price has not been broken yet look it's right there so please uh, for our members when you see uh, the, the the true average price in here uh, re-enter the market. Re-enter the market because uh, it is a very cheap to trade and it requires just a few ticks down uh, on the stop loss. So the risk reward on the on the, uh, the true average price, they are amazing. And as you see, despite this market is struggling, the true average price has not been penetrated since early this morning. You know, so this is a very important uh, to 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 look out for, and you can see right now, folks. It made a world of different by recognizing the mid band. Can you see that? I was gonna be knocked out of that trade. Pulled it a couple ticks down. This one immediately paid off two three hundred dollars more on that trade because of knowledge because of knowledge. And now we are going back to the same story again. And let's see what will happen.
I love, I love trading and you should love the trading and you should be patient, you know, can it go under your skin? Uh, and um, that's why uh, the biggest mistake I see is when people trying to rush to life money. Um, I try to not rush into the life money until you, um, your hands start moving around the market without thinking, you know. Uh, so, you know, when you see something like this, you just pull it without even thinking because you recognize there is a problem there. So take your time and and try to, even if you are an auto trader, put the auto trades on the side and try to um, stand looking just at the numbers. Uh, pull up an empty chart and play with it. Make it on a sim trade or follow the signals or do something. But uh, don't waste your time just looking at numbers. Today on the scalper, it could be yesterday. Uh, by this time here, we had over 4,000. Today is 2,000. Tomorrow could be down 2,000. Don't just look at the numbers. We need to know what happened today, what's going on in the market why I lost momentum, why I lost money, where is the problem today in the market? If you really want it to be, uh, you know, I mean, you cannot call it a career if you're not gonna put some effort in there. You cannot, you cannot buy an auto trade and say, now I'm a trader and I'm gonna change my career. It's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do it. Uh, again, folks, knowing uh, where is the switch on, a, on an airplane to turn on the autopilot, does not allow you to be pilot and uh, you have to know what's going on behind the scene and you have to know even if you are an auto trader you have to know what's going on in the market otherwise you cannot auto trade it doesn't matter which auto trade you are using if you don't know if this market is a chop now after we have explained everything what's going on in this market which one with a right mind right now is going to turn his auto trade on the nasdaq as an example, we know this NASDAQ is getting on the high high. We know this NASDAQ is coming between those two yellow lines. It is a very critical area right now. So we know the ES is stuck in those area here, having a hard time breaking this area here. Which guy with the right mind is gonna jump in on a trade and go ahead and turn on the auto trade? Especially for those guys right now in, in this room here. After we explain everything, nobody with a right mind now able to take even a trade because we are at this critical area at the high level and we don't know if this market holding or not. Of course, there is a different alternative. I can go and find million way I can find an entry, but we don't want to complicate it. We don't want it to, but uh, because we know what is this critical right now, we don't want to take any more trade because the run, as I said earlier today, when we first started today on the YouTube, I said this market is running and the market, I couldn't even talk because the market was moving and moving and I'm uh, moving. And what I said, exactly what I said, this is good in one direction and it's not good on the other direction. The reason is we already have the early spike the market normally spikes one time. And after we took that spike today, if we notice on the NASDAQ, got caught and nothing happened, you see? Now we are sitting and waiting tick by tick and this is gonna drive us crazy. And the same thing on the, on the ES, the ES did spike early today around 9.30 till 10 o'clock and it stopped. The party is over. If we look at the ES, we had a beautiful run and then we got all the way up here to the 81 level and 81.75 and kiss it goodbye. The party mm -hmm. is over. Now there is nothing on this uh, market. The party is over. There is no more trade. 
well, we're going to stay a little bit longer. I will be changing the fresh coffee and I will be right back, folks. Okay, you know, we got a lot of emails one day. I want to go back and uh, try to open the emails and um, we've been getting a lot of emails compliment about when I'm calling one time I called a trade for the outsider non members one or two times in this session max because I don't want to use the concept the concept and the <laughs> going life is uh uh front of the traders is to is an for an education purposes only and uh for the guys i don't want to sit down and uh, keep calling the trades i call one or two like today i called one trade and the reason i call one trade i don't want him to you know couple hundred dollars uh for for a trade 
and I call it so that will not uh, be empty handed. Uh, yes, uh, I nail eight out of 10. Uh, when I call a trade is eight out of 10 is right. And uh, uh, some traders have sent me an email. They say, it's amazing how you nail those trades, you know? And, uh, and uh, but uh, the concept is not uh, to call the trades for you, even if it's, uh, you follow me on a sim or not. I don't know. I, I advise everyone, we're not allowed to call a trade for live trade. I advise you to go on a sim. But uh, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to change. Uh, I want it to, to be educational. I don't want it to be sit down and call the trades for you all day long, because uh, then we are missing the point here. And then everybody is going to be sitting. Uh, we had this experience before and then waiting on a trade. What I wanted, uh, my whole purpose here, putting all my work on the side, spending a couple of hours a day to the public without getting paid for it, without uh, collecting any email. It is to educate those, uh, those guys uh, the best we know, the best we can. And the positive uh, results is 100%. The positive is 100%. And, uh, and, uh, and they are, we're, not, we're not charging. We don't know who's out there. We don't know the email. We don't know the names. But it is about time somebody come out and, and uh, show you those trades. And at the same time, I will call one or two trades for you. So for, for your message, no, I will not turn that... Uh, a live trade, a live on a YouTube uh, to just call in the trades. I don't want it to collect people on a YouTube. I prefer to have 20 people on a YouTube learning than uh, 200 people waiting on me to call a trade. I don't want to do that, no. Um, you need to learn how to, to do your own fish because uh, this, uh, uh, we are very busy people, and uh, that is putting, uh, uh, putting a lot of work on us because the first two hours, um, we're not given any support, we're not trading, uh, we're not, uh, I mean, we are just simply uh, education, and that is uh, extending the, the working hours for us, two hours uh, every day. So... Uh, I want it to be educational and uh, uh, and I will try to keep it as, as long as I can on, on uh, that uh, until I get bored with it. Uh, so yes, timing is, um, the time is uh, really our enemy because there is not enough hours a day to cover everything. But uh, right now, guys, uh, let's see if uh, this uh, ES is going to test the 84.50. I will stay with you on that trade. If you notice, the NASDAQ stayed with the true average price. is above the target. We are done with the e NASDAQ, actually. But uh, we're hoping that uh, ES is going to spike one more time. Uh, 8475 so we are watching on the 8475 if we can do it if we we notice uh, to if it's any of our traders now you are between those two yellow lines and also on the nasdaq between the two yellow lines for how we teach you on the es now we are on a critical area with the es and on the, you cannot take long in those areas anymore. You cannot take long, folks. So uh, for, if, for our traders, when you see the market come in between those two yellow lines, open your Renko bar, because it's a shame not to take advantage of it. And then you wait on this market to get out of the band. What time now is 
look where is the target seven those your institutional numbers is 87.25 so i don't know if it's gonna hit it before 12 or it just finished but uh I want to, uh, my traders to mark on your chart the 87.25 and the 90.75. Why? Those are those the target and a final destination on the ES for today. The probability is 93.50. Once we hit the target one. It's going to be profit taking. Today is a Friday, like any other day. And then uh, the target two. Once you see this market hit target two, the party is over for the rest of the day. Out of the band, you have two options 87.25. The second target is 28.90.75. This is where those guys, they're going to cash in and call it off for today so that is going those are not fibs but that is gonna make a problem once they cash in this market is gonna go sideways so mark those numbers uh, the 8725 and uh, the 289075 after those numbers call it kiss the es goodbye for monday and um and God help us if this market sinking right now. Let's look. That's me. We are in a very long hole for today. Let's see. Really, there is no movement. Uh, again, do not use the Renko for uh, trading with the trend. Never use the Renko to trade with the trend, any Renko is misleading misguided and you will never be successful trader i don't care whether this rank of from us or somebody else rank of bars range is for reversals only you will never be able to be success trader on a rank of bar maybe one out of a million good luck with that this is if you wanted to take your trade to another level. You need to start with the one minute and not to tweak in one minute, one minute, because this is where you see exactly what happened in the market. And if we compare in this one minute chart with this Renko bar, This one is not telling me anything. This one is making sense. It's telling me what, what was going on in this market. Here is nothing. Rubbish. You know, you cannot trade that with the trend. No way. But when I get out of the band, like those area here, with the support line on a Renko bar, yes. I'll take that one uh, in a long trade, but I will never uh, try to take a trade in the middle of that. Because look at this one here, folks. How this uh, ES climbing all the way up. And look at the, how this one, uh, one minute is sinking. It's showing that um, it's flat. 
here it's not showing it's a flat site showing it's trending look if you cannot see that and then i strongly advise you do not trade anymore if you cannot see that this is a misguided there is no trend here And this one here is telling me the market is is really struggling. If you cannot see that, I strongly advise you stop trading. You need a lot of training. And the only one you can blame yourself, not uh, whatever system you have from somebody else. This is the true story behind the ES today. Oh, Jesus, come on. Let's see what will happen. Okay, there is uh, some buyers coming in. Let's see if we are. You see where the buyers are, guys? Because we have this line. Every time you see a line, you see start a blinking. They wanna break that area here is uh, 82.50. Let's see if they are able to do that. We are stuck on the 82.50 on the ES. And look how many times uh, the 82.50 struggling. It's been since 1048. The ES has not been able to break the 8250. So this is really a problem at the moment with the ES. Eighty six seventy five. So if this ES start moving, the first target is eighty seven seventy five, and the resistance is eighty eight twenty five. This one here, 87.25. I really would love that market to, to go up so we can call uh, a short trade out of the band and uh, uh, see how we'll play.
Oh, we're still waiting, guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then do the No, no, do Okay. 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 I want to stay till uh, 12 o'clock to see if um, we can nail uh, a reversal on the ES. So what it is, is a fight between the clock 1134. So normally we should get it between 11 and 12. So let's see if we are going to and then is a profit taken and kiss it goodbye. So let's see. I'm I'm watching it. I want to show you that uh, not everything is uh, based on indicators. There we go. It's working like a clock. There we go. Aren't there something? You will see, guys. Let me show you something. That's what I'm waiting on, the 12 o'clock. Profit taken. And then you're going to see the power on those numbers. Out of the band, those your this is, has nothing to do with you, the third one. The retailers, one and two. And uh, you will see, right on time, we will be hitting those, and nothing will happen after that. You will see. Now it's 11.35. They're going to yank it to this area here. You will see. And I challenge anyone can make money after that. Manual, auto trading, anything. I challenge anyone can make money after that. Let's look. Easy to talk about anything when you're not involved in it and uh, hide behind the computer and not getting involved in it and actually it is very hard when you are on a YouTube front of the traders and you face a challenge you know so there is a two different things it is different when you are after the fact the end of the day say oh you have a trade here you have a trade here you have a trade you have a trade here and it is a total different ball game when you are sitting in front of the trader and you're trying to predict everything for the trader in front of you. I think this is what separate uh, the boys from the girls. This is what separate whoever have experience in this business and whoever is trying just to market a product or he got paid to market a product or he's very good on criticizing but he cannot come and get his hands dirty and show us what you know about this business. So right now it is right on the clock it's 
and it's 87.25, the first target and the second target. So this is something, I don't want anyone tell me what happened today. I want somebody tell me what is going to happen. Any trader can see what happened. Anyone can say you can take a trade here, take a trade here, take a trade here, and you would have been millionaire, yes. Tell me where's this bar going and get it over with. Just, uh, just tell me where's the spark going. So this is what the, the most difficult task in the future trading, trying to predict the market, not follow the market. So let's see where we're going to end up at 12 o'clock with this market ES. To me, is a challenge, and we will see what will happen, guys. I want to show you, open your head. <laughs> Excuse me. I wanna I wanna show you that it's not all about indicators, you know. And um, I would like you, especially my traders, to open their eyes to something, you know, behind what kind of games they play in us. Those guys, those big guys, moving the market. They're really playing us good, and. Uh, if you don't understand what they're doing, you will never get it anywhere. Okay, so right now we are at, we're not that far from the target, but we are 1139.47. Watch this. We are at 84.75, and we are not that far from 87.25, and you will see what will happen, there we go. Look at the clock, look at those number, look at this market. And I challenge every single trader knows about those. Here we go. Don't talk about trading, come here lay your chart in front of the traders and try to predict the future market. Very simple. Now we are 11.40.51. Look. So the first target is 87.25. We still waiting. It was a very interesting day and uh, 
I, w- I would like to see the end of this game today at uh, 12 o'clock. So we're going to stay and see the end of it because it's been a challenge today on the ES. The trying to predict the ES was amazing. And I want to show you how they play this game. I hope we are able to hit it before 12 o'clock. Now it's 11.45. It looked like I said the ES is dead. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, I will uh, I will open. Uh, Uh, if there's any uh, of the, uh, you have a genuine question, uh, any, if there's any of our members, if you have any question in here while we're waiting till 12 o'clock, uh, you just uh, uh, ask me on the Skype. any question to any of our customers out there to Friday probably they're not here let's see guys it's uh, coming to the 12 o'clock I want to see the 12 o'clock and I want to see this number The 8725. I really would love to call that short once we get up here, you know, but uh, let's see. We're still a few minutes from 12. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, you know, uh, the silver, uh, I don't, I don't play the silver. I think, yes, it's out of date, uh, the silver. I don't, I'm thinking to even move it because uh, we had a request over it and I'm gonna, I mean, I don't want to, I don't know anything. I never trade the silver, so I'm gonna be, it's gonna be gone next week. Nonetheless, if somebody requested, man, we put it. If there's anybody out there have their own uh, instruments, uh, they want us to put it on, we'll be more than glad. If we have the data, we will be uh, more than glad to. Uh, that person who requested the silver, uh, Ben, I never heard from them again. And as I remember, it was a woman. But um, we'll go ahead and uh, anybody have an instrument uh, beside those, 
uh, will be more than glad. If we have the data, we'll put it on for you. Um, I was really hoping on uh, uh, calling a reversal and we are a few ticks away. So we're gonna stay to see at 12 o'clock. We should be getting those at 12 o'clock. We're still missing a few takes uh, to get to the first target. So, and they should hit between 11 and 12. And uh, today we're, we're shorting out on the ES. We still have a few ticks short, but you cannot uh, uh, take reversals from this area. You gotta wait, they might turn it around on you. If you wanted to take a reversal on uh, out of the band on the ES, you have the 87.25 and the 90.75. Uh, if you wanted to do this on a sim, you can reverse the market from those numbers here only, but I would not take a reversal uh, from that area uh, right now. You know, this is nothing because you have a support line. It's going to cause a problem. You have a mid band. So this one is not going anywhere, folks. So do not jump on a reversal here. It's too early for that. Uh, we need a bit higher up to to the 90.50 or 87.25. Those are the reversal entry. And we're going to stay till 12 o'clock. So... Oh, we're done with the NASDAQ. We're done with the NASDAQ. It's out. Okay. Well, uh, folks, that's all what uh, we have today. And, uh, and uh, if you like us, please give us the thumb up. And uh, on Monday, uh, it is for members only. And on uh, Tuesday, will continue uh, every day on uh, uh, live on the YouTube. Uh, and uh, I want to say wish everyone a uh, nice weekend and uh, we'll be back on live on Tuesday, 10 o'clock Eastern time. God bless you all and uh, see you next week. Bye for now.